Javelier Tigreal. My inner life will instruct me. Hello everyone, it's your boy Pika and we're back here on the, with another tutorial. Today we're going to do Tigreal, so let's get to it. So first, let's talk about the emblem. Um, there could be two emblems you can use for Tigreal. The first, the main one that I would use, the one that I use for every match is support, just because the movement speed is super important for tanks, for rotation, and to make plays. And also, pull yourself together is really, really important. You know, um, for Tig to engage, you would need Flicker, and this reduces the cooldown of that battle spell by 15%. So I feel like this would be the best emblem for Tigreal. Battle spell, this is no, this is a no-brainer. Um, there's only one battle spell you should use for Tigreal, and that battle, battle spell is Flicker. Flicker is super important to engage with Tigreal. Later in this video, I will show you guys why, but this is, should be the only battle spell that you guys should use for Tigreal. Builds, like I said, builds always depend on the enemy's uh, heroes that they pick. You know, you should never have the same build, especially as a tank, your build should be different every single game. It should never be the same. But I feel like the most important two items that you should build with any tanks is Athena Shield and anti Caress. Um, even before the match starts or when the heroes are picking their, when the enemies are picking their heroes, always look at their team comp and see what they have, who is magic damage, who is physical damage, and then already planning in your head what you're gonna build first. Cause that's what I always do in every single match and then even in the loading screen you kind of have a clue on what you want to build. Here I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with Tigreal. Um, the most important thing to do is to max out your second skill and to get your second skill first. The main reason why you want to get your second skill first is that you can reset their buffs. So their blue buff or their orange buff, sorry. Right, so you want to hide. And the way you walk to their buff is super important. So make sure that they do not see you. You can hide in this bush and save their, they went mid lane. You can just go in this bush, make sure the minions don't see you on the bot side or you can go in this bush because then they have no vision on you and another thing that is really important to do with Tigreal is that um, you pan your map panning your map is super important so you know which buff they're at because if they're at red buff you can hear them do red buff if they're at orange uh, blue buff sorry you can hear them do blue buff so make sure you pan your map and make sure to know which uh, which buff they're at and also early game it's really important to reset their buffs uh, if it's safe, you know, it's not an always thing to do, it always depends on the game, you should study the game a little bit more. Um, if they have the early game like Jawhead and Selena, then I wouldn't invade because that's instant 
and you're just feeding that back home. That's just an instant kill on you. Let's say if they have like a veil or something, or even like a Kufra tank, um, Kufra might get his second skill first. It's just that, just wait him, wait for him to use his second skill, and then just reset the buff. And also, if you're over here and they did red buff, you could just take this path, the same path that I'm walking. Try not to take any turn damage like what I did just right there. And then you can reset the red buff too. Another thing with Tigreal that some people do not know is that you can ult the minions and Lord. So if the minions are coming your way or they're not they're attacking your base, just ult. And it will focus on you. So if minions are coming, just wait for the minions. Let the computer clear. Waiting for the next minions. And you just go for the minions and you just hold and then they focus on you. And you stun them as well. And you could also do that with Lord as well. And then also another thing is that positioning super key. Make sure um, you guys have Flicker to use this spell because Flicker Flicker ult is the most important engage for a take reel. Just like here, as I use for example, you just ult Flicker, push him back, and make sure your team is ready to engage, and make sure that you got all of your spells ready, and you communicate with your team so you know when to engage with your team as well. And once again, I'm going to show you the Flicker ult. Here are some combos you could do with Tigreo. So you can use his second skill, flick him up in the first skill. Another combo you could do is use his second skill, first skill, and then flick him up. Another combo you can do is you can use your first skill to slow him down and then flip him up. First skill to slow him down and flick him up. First skill to slow him down and flick him up. Also another combo you could do to engage is flicker ult, which is and then push him back or towards your ally so you could do damage. So ult, flicker, push him back, first skill flip. Another combo you could do if you're close to your enemies is just flip, is just ult, so push him back, first skill, and then flip him up. And that's just a simple combo as well. So if you're close to your enemies, just ult, second skill, first skill. And if they have spells as well, so you can use this and if you use flicker to move away, you could just go like this. Sorry. So go like this. And if they have flicker, you can just flick to them and flick them up. And hold. So like this. Flicker to them and flick them up. I said, you know, the reason why I get my second skill, it's because so I can reset their buffs. Um, second skill has like you can press it twice one is to push them one to knock them up so make sure you're close by when you ready to knock them up I always walk this route so they don't see me usually they walk over here and then I just stay in this bush they're most likely going to clear mid and then I gotta move my map where are they So I hear them at red buff, so I can just walk like this, walk this way to red. Sometimes you can walk without taking a turn of damage, that's my bad. And then I'm just going to reset his buff like this, and dip. Or I can just hide in his bush, knock him up, back. He really can't do much. Uh, if there's four people here, what the- 
yeah, never mind. Wasn't not expecting four people to be on my ass. But you know what? Uh, that's still good though. That's still good. I reset his buff, so he's delayed. He's already level three or almost level three. He's still at red buff. I can meet him at blue, reset his blue. I still have flicker, so I can still go in, reset his buff, and then flicker out. I should have took another row. I was not expecting four people there, not gonna lie. So I can just wait in this bush, wait for him to come. Is he ever gonna come? You see, that's slow at farming. So we see him right here, that's fine. Um, he's gonna go straight to blue. Um, you could you could bait him a little bit, you know? Let him have a couple attacks on it, even so it's not like, so you can do some damage to him. Then you can walk over there, you know, and just go do, do this. Jinsan Shin's gonna come. I hope he comes. Execute. Wow. He's gonna go to blue. That's a free turtle for us. That's a win for us. That's a win-win. I could have got out two of those times if I flickered out, but I decided not to. Um, let's see if he's, he's so he just got blue. Just dodge skill, took his ult, he has no ult, good enough. And nothing. And I always max out my second skill, guys. Always max out my second skill. CC. Always max out CC. So, two top wave. Um, he's, he gotta get his blue. Let's go here. Camp. Actually, we can get the Hylos. Or win win. Easy dubs. Easy dubs. Good shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna recall here. So, win win. You can push her. Wait till she uses her second skill and then ult or knock her up. Whatever you prefer. Right there, I just pushed her and then when she used her second skill so she can't get out, I just use my flicker. Or I mean, sorry, not my flicker, my ult, sorry. So that was, that was an easy two kill on us. That's an easy two kill. I still have flicker. I have ult in 13 seconds. Um, can we engage here? Not really. But... In five seconds we could. We could push wave and then we could tower dive once we push wave. I think they're just going back out here. So I'm just going to focus tower. They could do whatever they want. So they give win win ult. I pushed her. She should be dead. So that's just like knowing when, when knowing her timing of when she's finished, when she's coming down from her ult. Uh, playing against a win win, you guys were learning a lot from that. So I'm gonna save this to Uranus. Um, I saved him. He went back in. Nice. So Turtle's coming up in 14 seconds. I'm gonna rotate back to mid. So you don't need. So you see how the Dumpter are pushing wave? Don't push wave of them. Give them vision. Because you don't know where the enemies are. See right there? We didn't know where the troll is. So he could pull like some crazy stunt like that. So it's always important to get vision, and then you and then you be ready to like peel for them. So that's exactly what happened there. He got scared, so he back out, thinking he was about to kick there. Went weird jump. That's like a 10 second cooldown second skill. He's gonna get his buff. Um, they're chasing Uranus, so I'm gonna help him a little bit. So I could push him, do that. Nice, we got a kill. Oh my. We get we get uh, Gwen and Gear too. I should have waited, but good enough. So I'm gonna be able to Thina Shield here. They have three magic damage. Uh, Thina Shield is the best item for magic damage. Out of like Oracle, Cur uh, Mass Helmet, Curse Mass Helmet, and Thina Shield, Thina Shield is the best. So in 10 seconds, I have Flicker Roll. Be ready for that. Um, max out this skill. I want to do a flicker roll, but kind of hard because they're never in position. So that's an easy kill right there. She's going. She has jump, but that's fine. She wasted her jump. Easy kill. Nice. Nice one. As long as I wasted her jump, that would have been fine because then she doesn't have an escape. She has execute. Yeah, she doesn't have escape after that. See, my first two deaths are from invading the buff. But other than that, 
Oh, this has just been plays. Playing smart. So I'm gonna rotate top. You can rotate to their buff. Three top lane. Um, I'm not gonna fight here. Actually, something could happen. So I got a three man knockup. We win this fight. I'm gonna back out. I did all I could. Can they get that kill? Nice. Good stuff. So that was a really good engagement for me. I got three man ulti, uh, three man ult, sorry, and then I just pushed them back to my team and then they just do the rest. And I live off of that too. So for tanks, it's who, if you want me to become the better tank than enemy, it's whoever engaged first. So you see me there, I engage first and my team just follow up. That's a good play by me. Not really much we could do here. Um, we should wait for, no, not really, it's only seven minutes, but I'm gonna block his cards. He should be fine. Honestly, the best thing to do here is just freeze wave. I'm gonna push her, save my team, because she could have ulti there. Pika you east, uh, yeah. So next item, I'm gonna get uh, anti caress just because they have armor, um, Wen Wen, and they have Cho. Yeah, so I saved my team. Uh, bot lane because they she landed a nice jump. She got two man knockup by pusher, so she couldn't ult. Um, what's happening here? What's the move? She's in trouble. She has ulti too. She's way too fast. She's like really slippery. But we could kill her. Yeah, she's dead. She didn't have ulti. Yeah, I miss her ult. Wen Wen's really slippery. Uh, I could have flicker over her, but I didn't want to waste. To be honest, I didn't want to waste it there. I thought I could have got her without the flicker ult, but that's fine though. We still got the kill. I want to land a nice flicker ult this game and show you guys, but it's kind of hard because they really not been sticking together. See, and then they're always dead too. She's dead. I think this chose them. <laughs> yeah, GG. GG. Hope you guys like my gameplay. Make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe. And that is my Tiggy Roll game, everyone. That's how you play Tig. Two of my deaths were invading buff, but which is fine because then he was, for the first turtle, uh, he wasn't ready. He was level three.